There's something happening behind the scenes at Tesla that no one saw coming, and it has nothing to do with cars. It's on the factory floors of the giant gigafactories that a new kind of machine will begin to take shape. An electric plane. And not just any plane. We're talking about an aircraft valued at $78,910, ready to take off straight from Tesla's production floor. Production begins as early as the second quarter of 2026. But what's truly impressive is the plan. Adapting factories originally designed for cars to assemble aircraft on a large scale. This isn't fiction. It already has a name, date, and location. Texas, Shanghai, and Berlin will lead this bold move. And Mexico will enter the scene in 2027, rounding out the quartet in style. The idea may sound bold, but Tesla has already shown that it knows how to bend time and steel. The Texas Gigafactory, for example, delivered more than 410,000 vehicles in the second quarter of 2025 alone. This shows that volume is not an issue, and that space won't be either. Each of these factories will dedicate 20% of its floor space to assembling the new aircraft which already reveals the level of priority the project has gained internally. What's more, instead of building something from scratch, they will modify existing automotive lines with new machines, new robotic arms, and new processes that meet aerospace requirements. And these requirements are no joke. We're talking precision components, carbon composite fuselages, and a completely new module for producing aluminum air batteries another secret that's beginning to take shape inside the factories. This kind of adaptation is expensive. Tesla is investing $500 million per unit in this new project. And when you add that up, that's at least $1.5 billion. But here's the detail that changes everything. Tesla has done something similar before. The Shanghai factory, for example, was built from scratch in just 10 months. This gives you an idea of how quickly this plan can come to fruition. And this plan goes far beyond just getting the plane in the air. Tesla wants to scale. It wants pace. It wants global scale. And everything is already designed to achieve this. By 2028, the goal is to produce 10,000 aircraft per year, a number that sounds absurd for an industry accustomed to projects that take decades. And yet, Elon Musk wants to double that by 2030 hitting the 20,000 units per year mark. The ambition? To capture 5% of the global light aircraft market in less than four years. A market dominated for decades by a few manufacturers who may now have to compete for the sky with an aggressive newcomer. But it's not just about mass production. It's about integrating everything so that the plane is manufactured with the same level of automation as Tesla cars. Today, 80% of a Model Y is already assembled by robots, and the company intends to apply this same efficiency model to assembling airplanes. This means reduced costs, less human error, and delivery speeds that put pressure on traditional competitors. The same vertical integration system that allowed Tesla to produce 80% of its car components in-house will now be replicated in aviation, and that changes everything. The Texas Gigafactory will be the heart of this operation. It alone promises to deliver 5,000 aircraft per year by 2028, representing half of the entire global production forecast for the model. Next comes the Shanghai facility, which will supply the skies of Asia and Oceania with 3,000 aircraft annually. Berlin will handle Europe with another 2,000 per year, and Mexico starting in 2027, will add another 2,000 units to supply the Americas. Together, these factories form a production and distribution triangle that covers almost the entire planet with surgical precision. Now imagine this pace being driven by cutting-edge technologies with direct integration with SpaceX, Tesla's sister company, bringing expertise in lightweight composites, large-scale production, and extreme testing. It's as if each plane already comes out with a rocket pedigree. And while traditional companies spend years launching new models, Tesla seems ready to accelerate this cycle with full force. 
And the curious thing is that, right now, no one is talking about this with the attention it should. Because what's brewing in Tesla's warehouses could very well redefine the concept of aviation as we know it today. When you combine robotics, gigapresses, battery engineering, and Tesla's obsession with efficiency, the result is something hard to ignore. The company's electric planes aren't just promises. They already have an address, a timeline, a budget, and a market target. And all of this is starting to materialize before most people even realize it. The wheels are turning, and if it continues at this pace, Tesla's next revolution won't happen on the roads, but in the skies. As factories come to life with the new aeronautical focus, the question that's beginning to circulate is, how to deliver all this to the public? Because manufacturing 10,000 planes a year is a feat, but getting them to the right customers, in the right places, without relying on traditional airports, is another matter. And that's where the second stage of the plan comes in, distribution. Tesla will leverage its current network of over 200 distribution centers around the world, previously used only for cars, chargers, and solar batteries. Now, these same centers will be adapted to also operate as aeronautical delivery points. But the real leap forward lies in the so-called vertiports. By 2028, Tesla plans to install 100 of them in strategic urban areas, 50 in the United States alone, 30 in Europe, 15 spread across Asia, and five between the United Kingdom and Australia. These hubs will not be mere landing sites, but true multifunctional centers with charging stations, maintenance areas, and dispatch rooms. The idea is to eliminate dependence on distant airports, allowing customers to access the aircraft practically in their backyard, or rather on the roof of a building, in a shopping mall, or in any urban center. This model is inspired by the vertiports that drone and air taxi companies have been testing in recent years. The difference is that, while many are still in the conceptual phase, Tesla has already begun adapting its real-world infrastructure for this. In the United States, for example, a customer who purchases the aircraft in the third quarter of 2026 will be able to receive it by the end of the same year. In practice, we're talking about a delivery time of just three months, which is ridiculously fast by traditional aviation standards. In Europe, this time frame rises to four months. And in Asia, even with high demand, delivery is guaranteed within five months. This logistical efficiency is supported not only by factories in key locations around the world, but also by Tesla's radical integration model. It's the same thinking that allowed the company to deliver nearly 1.8 million cars in 2024. Now, this know-how is being applied to the aviation sector. And what's more, with a solid financial base of $10 billion in cash and a $13 billion research and development budget shared with SpaceX, Tesla has plenty of fuel to keep pace. Not to mention the fleet of Starlink satellites, which already blankets the planet with internet and can support aircraft logistics, tracking, and communications. What really changes the game, however, is the delivery format. Instead of relying on ports, ships, and intermediaries, Tesla is proposing something almost direct to the consumer. Imagine receiving a notification that your aircraft is ready and can be picked up at the nearest vertiport in your city center. No more traveling to another state to pick up the plane. It comes to you. This is the kind of experience that was once unthinkable but is now becoming standard. And of course, all of this comes with an already functioning ecosystem, with technical support, spare parts, and real-time software updates. Vertiports will also be crucial to ensuring the continued operation of these aircraft. They will function as sky stations, offering quick recharging and preventative maintenance between flights. Tesla's strategy is to make using the electric plane as simple as using a car. You land, plug in the cable, update the system, and in less than an hour, you're ready to fly again. This vision completely eliminates the need for private hangars or expensive structures. Now, everything is within reach of those living in major cities, 
including people who never imagined they could have access to an aircraft. And for those who think all this is an exaggeration, just look at what Tesla has already done with the Model Y. The car went from zero units to over 1.2 million per year in just four years. With the airplane, the goal is to replicate this accelerated growth, but in an even more inefficient sector. And to achieve this, timing is everything. The company is already entering 2026 with everything in hand. Factories ready, distribution centers active, vertiports under construction, and a customer base eager for innovation. They're not waiting for the market to adapt. They're creating a new market and pushing competitors off the track. The structure is already being shaped to enable coordinated deliveries across the globe. In Tokyo, for example, an order placed in April can be delivered in January of the following year. In London, the wait would be about three and a half months. The goal is clear, to shorten cycles and ensure that the electric plane is treated with the same agility as a consumer product, and not as a luxury requiring years of waiting. This more agile, more direct, and more urban model is what will allow Tesla's plane to be much more than a futuristic promise. It will become a real presence in the daily lives of major cities. All of this is only possible because of a central component that had been the Achilles heel of electric aviation, the battery. For decades, it was the biggest obstacle, too heavy, too unstable, incapable of storing enough energy for minimally viable flights. But Tesla decided to tackle this problem with the same boldness it had already shown in the automotive sector. And what emerged from this effort was a technical breakthrough that seemed unattainable, the aluminum air battery. It didn't just change the game, it redesigned the entire board. This battery delivers an energy density of 520 W1. It may seem like just a technical number, but this figure means it's 38% more powerful than the most advanced lithium-ion batteries. And this has real consequences. A light aircraft with this type of battery can lose up to 1,500 kilos in weight compared to lithium-ion versions. That's the equivalent of removing the weight of an entire car from the flight. What's more, with less weight, range increases, fuel consumption drops, and safety soars. For the first time, a battery stops being an anchor and becomes the engine of the aviation revolution. But the trick lies in the oxygen. Aluminum air batteries don't carry oxygen inside them like lithium batteries. They use oxygen from the air, which saves space and weight inside the power module. This allows for the creation of smaller, lighter, and more efficient packs. In laboratory tests, Tesla has already reached peaks of 1,000 Dawei to wag, although 520 has already been approved for aviation use. The result? A range of up to 720 miles, about 1,150 kilometers. This easily covers most domestic flights in the United States, Europe, and much of Asia. Of course, someone will raise the issue of kerosene. After all, jet fuel has 12,000 dollars hydrid wage clients. But there's a game-changing detail. Electric motors are three times more efficient than combustion engines. So even with a much lower energy density, the electric system compensates with clean, direct, and virtually lossless performance. A typical jet engine converts only 30% of its energy into useful propulsion. Tesla's electric engines, on the other hand, exceed 90%. This is where the concept of less is more becomes a practical reality. And if safety is the concern, it's good to know that these new batteries are completely non-flammable. Unlike lithium batteries, they don't explode, catch fire, and don't require emergency containment systems. They already meet FAA and ESA standards, the world's two largest civil aviation agencies. What's more, the battery management system, inherited from the long experience with the Model S, has already been adapted for aviation. With it, the battery can last up to 3,000 full charge cycles. This gives, on average, a 30-year lifespan with 100 flights per year. This durability changes everything. It goes from being an item that needs replacing every few years to a long-term, reliable and predictable structure. And if that weren't enough, 
The aircraft's design is being made with ultralight composite materials, with expertise coming directly from SpaceX. The fuselage will be 15% lighter than the industry average. This means Tesla's plane not only flies with less energy, it also costs less to maintain, repair, and operate. Incidentally, navigation technology is also being developed with support from SpaceX. The artificial intelligence systems guiding Starship rockets will now integrate Tesla Aviation's assisted piloting system. The promise is bold. Flight precision greater than that of a human pilot, automatic response to weather changes, and even assisted landings in low visibility locations. This is no longer a PowerPoint idea. It's a system undergoing real-world testing, being refined with data collected from thousands of real-time simulated flights. This set of innovations eliminates the biggest technical barrier to electric aviation. For the first time, an electric plane has real range, a lightweight structure, certified safety, and a distribution engine to put it in the hands of the public. What once seemed like a distant dream is now on the assembly line. And the most unexpected detail of all? This technology may be licensed to other manufacturers in the future. This puts Tesla, which has always been a disruptor, in the position to set the standard for a whole new era in global aviation. With the battery resolved and the aircraft ready to fly, a new question arises. Where will all this work? After all, what's the point of having an electric plane if there's no compatible infrastructure to quickly recharge, maintain, and operate these machines? This is precisely where the next step in Tesla's plan comes in. A billion-dollar step, literally. The company will invest $2 billion to build a global charging and maintenance network dedicated exclusively to electric aviation. It's not an adaptation of what already exists. It's something completely new, built from scratch, just for this new world of aviation. This ecosystem includes no less than 200 ultra-high power charging stations by 2028. We're talking about one megawatt, capable of recharging 80% of the aircraft's battery in just 30 to 45 minutes. These times put old-school refueling processes to shame. Of these stations, 100 will be in the United States, 50 in Europe, 40 spread across Asia, and 10 divided between the United Kingdom and Australia. This strategic distribution places the stations within 100 miles of 90% of global urban centers. The goal is clear. No one can be far from a Tesla station. And don't think these stations are just giant power outlets. They're complete hubs with onboard AI for automatic diagnostics, intelligent scheduling systems, and integration with flight software. All of this is possible because Tesla is applying the same technology as its Tesla semi-electric trucks, which already operate with one millimeter of charging at 95% efficiency. And of course, the synergy with SpaceX comes into play again. The Starlink system, with over 7,000 active satellites, will be responsible for monitoring, remotely updating, and communicating between aircraft and stations in real time. But the plan goes beyond charging. Tesla is also launching 50 global aerial maintenance centers, with full operation by 2028. Each will be strategically positioned near gigafactories and vertiports to ensure fast and continuous access. And here's another important detail. Each hub will be equipped with AI for preventative and corrective diagnostics. This means detecting faults before the driver even notices and automatically scheduling repairs, optimizing time and reducing costs.